Uh, good morning, my comfort for the day Facebook friends. There's no question that um, many of us are thinking deeply about what has taken place over this past weekend with the mass shootings. And um, as I was walking um, this morning, as frequently happens, I had a couple of ideas that may be beneficial. When someone steps into our space of um, grief with their misunderstanding and add to our pain, we're not the victim uh, unless we choose to be. Uh, we do have still options when something like that happens. And so one of the options that you, we might want to consider is that we can kindly exit ourselves and for the time being ignore or put aside what it was that they said or did from their perspective that misunderstands what you need most right now. Um, the reason why I say that as a, as a good option is because right now in our brokenness it's really difficult for us to um, respond to another person um, in a way that will bring out a positive result. So it's almost as if we need to continue the process of our healing to come to a wholesome place where we are um, solid again. And then we can revisit what occurred um, that was that other individual's misunderstanding for us in our grief. So um, it doesn't seem to be effective to um, retaliate, to add pain to pain, to um, become angry and upset and um, strike back. And I know it's natural that hurting people hurt people, but I just want to encourage us as grievers to um, walk away. Uh, let it go, drop it, and then when we are more whole and um, less vulnerable, we can re-explore what it was that um, that individual did that caused so much pain and then maybe give them some direction as to how to do something different for a grieving person. I just want you to grieve well. I want you to grieve with hope and courage and um, to know when it's okay to let go and walk away from those who misunderstand you and your grief.